with the ball, pitching it off to number 37, Rico Curtis, and Rico finding some room, and he's at the 15, the 10, ball is pushed out, Delvin Miles, a great defensive play. You see, here's, here's Burns, we've got this thing defended very, very well, now they try to run a little option, and we've got it defended, Delvin Miles, number 7, makes a nice play. become good, to become great at something, I always just learned you had to have three things. Dedication, consistency, and faith. My name is Delvin Quick Miles, AKA Coach D. Born January 14th, 1972. I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama. I wanted to be a football player. I always saw the game early in my youth around five, six years old, I was out in the backyard and being from Alabama, it's just like Texas or California, Florida, uh, I just really wanted to get around football and just play football. It just came to me. Uh, I don't know how it happened. I often told my grandmother and my mom about it, but you know moms, they thought it was very physical. So I started off in baseball and uh, that didn't last too long. Once I got hit by a pitch, I decided I didn't want to play football, I mean baseball, excuse me. I left the baseball to go play football where you get hit on every play. So it's been a blessing learning this sport. Uh, we end up moving to Anchorage, Alaska, and I'd like to thank my two past friends, Champ and Joey, for helping me out. Um, well, actually talking to my mom, talking to her into letting me join the Boys and Girls Club of Mountain View at the time. And I was able to join up with the Clark Falcons, shout out to the Falcons. We went undefeated and only gave up one touchdown the whole season. My first carry, a 28 sweep, I still remember it, was a 48-yard touchdown. I went to Bartlett High School all four years. I joined the football team my freshman year. I made C team. I was fast, but I had to start on the bottom. My sophomore year, I played JV and some varsity. Now I'm moving up a little bit. My junior and senior years is when I started receiving recognition. From 1988 to 1990, I received honors as an All-State wide receiver and defensive back. We won the football state championship in 1990. That same year, I was named Gatorade Player of the Year. I graduated in 1990 as a highly recruited athlete in three major sports, basketball, football, and track. I put all my eggs in a bunch, and I sorted out what was good, what was negative, what was positive, and looked around me. A lot of players around me weren't getting Division I offers. Over the last few years, if I would have done my homework before that, I would have known, but uh, I went off to College of the Desert and made good for myself, uh, made All-State for the state of California. I got some All-American nominations. And the scholarship offers started coming in, and I decided to go to Oklahoma State. There I became a two-year starting cornerback. My senior year, I was named to the first team all Big 8 conference. I graduated with eight career interceptions in 1996. After graduation, I played professional football in the Canadian Football League, known as the CFL. Why didn't I go to the NFL after college? Well, NFL is a numbers game. I knew I had the talent and I was a really great defensive back at cornerback coming out of the Big 8 Conference for Oklahoma State. Uh, things just didn't match up. At the same time, I got with the agent I don't think had my best interest at heart, like even getting me invited to the senior combine in Indianapolis, Indiana, that they usually have held. So I wasn't able to get that NFL look right away, but that was something that was on my, I guess you could say, bucket list to happen, was to uh, get drafted have mom and grandma and the cousins and everyone cheering loud for you. But I went over to Canada and made the best of it and took the arena route to possibly have an NFL career. The first team I played with were the Memphis Mad Dogs in 1996. In 1997, I went to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. There I played from 1997 to 1998 as a defensive back. In 1999, I joined the Anaheim Piranhas I liked Canada. I didn't play right away, 
but I made the team. I didn't start until game five of my first year. By my second year, it just wasn't as fun to me anymore because of the big field, the real cold, and the big old football they had. There was just too much field. My DB coach at the time helped me land a job with the Pro Arena Football League. After shuffling around a few teams like the Portland Forest Dragons in 1999, the Los Angeles Avengers from 2000 to 2001, and the Oklahoma Wranglers in 2002, I finally found a home playing for the Bakersfield Blitz out of Bakersfield, California in 2002. I played in Bakersfield a few years, which led me to acquiring a defensive back coaching position for the Bakersfield Blitz from 2005 until 2006. With that, I gained more experience, rubbed elbows with more and more coaches that knew the game, that helped me know the game outside of football and put me in a position to where I am right now. Came back home to Anchorage, Alaska, excuse me, and got with the Alaska Wild and owner David Weatherholt in 2006 and tried to help build that. I started learning the pro side of football from the ground up. I remember seeing Dalvin's videos when we were recruiting for the Alaska Wild and seeing some of his arena videos from down in California. He, I believe he was playing for the Bakersfield Blitz. Uh, I've never seen someone with his stature and his build deliver blows and hits like he was all over the field. It was incredible. And that's one of the things that I definitely noticed about Dalvin is the impact uh, of which he would deliver a hit <laughs> to the guys twice his size very entertaining in the arena world and definitely gave the fans their money's worth. He gave everything to the game all the way from high school to college to arena, even to the time he played with the Alaska Football League. I would say that his, his passion is something that drives him uh, to continue uh, teaching the game to uh, the youngsters and also some of the players that are in the Alaska Football League. It's been a great experience and a great ride for me. The Delvin Miles journey is very, very uh, alive and well. I am blessed in all angles of learning how to play the game. Still at this age and at this time in my life, having the passion for it now, after being with the Alaska Wild and now working with the Alaska Football League as a play-by-play -play announcer. And uh, I continue my journey now with the Delvin Miles story. We're back now, they try to run a little option and we've got it defended. Delvin Miles, number seven, makes a nice play. Toss in motion, rolling right, hits Graham about the 21 yard line, taken down by Delvin Miles.